Hello everybody, it's Stacy at Scrap Mania, and I've got new goodies, like always. Um, the first things I'm going to show you today, we've got some new cat scrappiness, and then we also got a Sunny Studios order. So let's start with the cat scrappiness. Those are always fun dyes. She's got a few stamps, but mostly she's dyes. Um, this one is called the Medallion Cover Plate. And um, this is really nice because uh, Jennifer McGuire did a video the other day that I posted, and she took the cover plate dyes like this, and she made them look 3D without them being 3D. So what she did was she cut one, and then she cut another one, cut it down the middle a little bit, took a little tiny sliver out of it, and then closed it together. So it was just a tiny bit smaller than the top one. And then she did that uh, like three times and layered them all together in different colors. And it looked like it was three different dyes on top of each other, um, but you're only using the one dye. So it was a good way to get uh, your money's worth out of these cover dyes because a lot of times um, there's so much metal used in these that they are a pricier item. So that's another way to uh, use the most out of your cover dyes. This one is called the Medallia Mandala Frame. So it's kind of similar to that one, not near as fancy. And um, this one, you could put a sentiment on the inside. Um, you could use this for lots of different purposes. There is a mandala sold separately that you could insert into the middle, or you can use that um, as its own die as well. So this is the mandala frame. And then here is the mandala die. Very pretty, very intricate. Cat scrappiness dies are always really well made also. And I appreciate that they now have barcodes. <laughs> we always had to make up codes for them and it was difficult. And then also she's putting tags on them. So it's making my job easier. So I appreciate that. Not that she's going to see this video, but um, it's helping me out. Um, this one is a very cool one. It's called Star Fusion. This is one of my favorites from her new release. Very detailed. Very cool. This would be another one that would look really nice if you layered it uh, to give that 3D look. This one here we had before. This is called the Stitch Scallop Squares. Um, Nikki uses this one pretty frequently on her cards because um, she does a lot of square cards. So we got this back in stock. And then we got Sunny Studios. And along that square theme, this is very similar to that one. This one is called the Fancy Frame Squares. So I'll show them both to you in the frame. So this one has scallops on the outside and the inside. This one just has the scallops on the outside. Um, let's see. You get six with the cat scrappiness. And you get three with the Sunny Studios because they're so much wider. And then you get that little star in the middle um, as kind of a bonus die. And then we also, from Sunny Studios, have that same die in a rectangle. Um, what's nice is when you're when they create dies, they're getting charged for how much space they take up. So that's why oftentimes they put stuff in the middle just as filler. Because it doesn't cost any more to make more dies. Um, they're getting charged for the biggest space. And so that's why there's oftentimes things put into the middle as kind of bonus dies. So this is the Fancy Frames Rectangle, and you've got the two Fancy Frames with the inside, outside scallop, and there's also stitching on there, and then you've also got the stitched uh, banner and um, kind of a label die there. This is Home Sweet Gnome, and we've had this one before, but we ran out of it. It's got the cutest little gnome sayings, and we've had a big run on gnome stamps lately. So even if you got gnome stamps from Stampin' Bella, um, these are some really nice sentiments to go along with those stamps. So I highly recommend this set. Um, there's things up on, or there's sentiments on here like, what's up, gnomey? Um, gnome one like you. Gnome home, or gnome sweet, home sweet gnome, sorry. They aren't together, you gotta piece them together. So um, it's not that I can't read, it's that I was trying to put them together for you. Um, gnome one makes me smile like you do. There's gnome place like home. Um, to gnome you is to love you. So super cute. Plus you've got all these fun little character stamps and mushrooms and toadstools and things. Um, this is also a 
Uh, one we've had before, but it's a goodie and we were almost out, so I restocked because uh, Easter is a little ways away yet. So we can't run out of cute little chubby bunnies before Easter gets here. So this set is actually called Chubby Bunny and there is a coordinating die. Um, this set also has a coordinating die, I just forgot to bring it home with me. So, very cute. That is from Cat Scrappiness and Sunny Studios. Um, I'm also going to show you the new Altenew order. So this is from Altenew and this one is called Magnolia Heart. There is a matching die and hearts are not just for Valentine's. So don't think uh, Valentine's, think wedding, uh, anniversary, birthday, thinking of you, all sorts of love stuff. Um, the sentiment on here says for you with love. It is two separate stamps so you can use them together or separately. And then you've got that fabulous little heart die to cut it out perfectly. Here is another heart that's just gorgeous and does not have to be used for Valentine's Day. It can be used for anything. This one is called Floral Heart Frame Die, and it's very elegant and dainty. So I love all the floral features inside the heart. Here is a stamp set uh, called Gifts from Heaven, and it is a baby set. Um, your sentiments on here are sending blessings. Sending blessings, now I can't read. Um, sending blessings to your gift from heaven. Um, a blessing is on the way. Congratulations on your new baby. Congratulations on the arrival of your bundle of joy. You will make an amazing mother. Mom to be. New life, new thrills, new experiences, a brand new miracle to call your own. It's a boy, it's a girl. And mother to be. So cute little set. You've got this little nursery here to go with it. Here is a die, it just says friend. This would be really nice um, if you, any kind of die like this, to go back and with these cat scrappiness dies to use this as your background and then put this going across the front. Any word dies, this would be really awesome with and even this one too. So that one says friend. And it's called Simply Friend Die. Can't stress it enough. Valentine Our hearts are not just for Valentine's Day. Let me turn this around. There's less glare that way. This is called Radial Hearts Cover Die. And it is super pretty. This would also make a really nice 3D one if you uh, did the three layers. Um, this would also look pretty, really pretty if you cut it out in white and put it on a white card. I always like how that looks, but I forget how elegant and easy that is um, just to put a white dye on white paper. Here's our next one, and it's called Fancy Frames. This is our stamp set. And then here's what the die looks like. You get two different dies in two different sizes. So Fancy Frames is what this one's called. I'll let you look at the die while I read you the sentiments. Um, your sentiments on here are, you are a treasure, you are so sweet, hello darling, enjoy the little things, and elegance is the only beauty that never fades. And that's an Audrey Hepburn statement. So, really nice. This is an adorable little envelope. So here's your stamp, and you've got your base of your stamp, and then you've got your flips and folds. Let me show you the back so you can see exactly what it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell in the uh, by the stamp itself. But fun when you do it. Let me show you on the, here it is too, shown with the die. Um, so it's cute. Um, the sentiment on there says happy mail. Everybody loves to get a mail that is not a bill. So a card in the mail makes a, wonderful gift and puts a smile on people's face. There's a little heart in this die and then there's also the square for the envelope. So there are those. Another cute little one is called mini brown stone. So here's what the stamp looks like. Um, this is the die. You get the shape of the brown stone and then you also get the little heart. And then here is the stamp to make your brown stone. So you've got your windows, your sides of your building, the little heart. Um, some steps and a little door. So super cute. This one, I forgot to bring my sample home, I believe. Actually, let me go double check. I might have it in the other room. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I was able to find it. So this stamp set 
is gorgeous and it is called Beautiful Blossoms and it's super pretty. You've got tons and tons of flowers on there plus you've got lots of sentiments. So this is a sample that we made at Creativation. This is actually designed by Nancy and the sentiment on there says beautiful things are coming and just a portion of the stamp with some enamel dots. Very simple. So I'm going to let you look at the card while I read the sentiments to you because there's several on here. So there are beautiful things are coming, which is what we used on the card. Um, there's always a reason to smile, find it. Even miracles take a little time. Um, don't stop until you're proud. Failure is not an option. Like a lotus, raise yourself from the mud, bloom out of the darkness and irradiate into the world. Life is tough, my darling, but so are you. That one's pretty awesome. And good things take time, be patient, and never give up. So great set, and we've got that fun sample created by Nancy. Oops. And then our next set is called Bloom and Bud. Maybe I should show you guys the backs of these. Sometimes it's easier to see what they look like on the backs. So here's that one, Beautiful Blossoms. But we do have the sample showing that one. Um, and so this one is the uh, Bloom and Bud. And here's what your layers look like. And uh, the nice thing about the new or ultra new sets is they have now labeled the stamps. So see this one, it says A2, here's A6, here's A4. So that way you know exactly which layer um, to use in order to get your uh, best results. So this is Bloom and Bud. There is a matching die. Most stamp sets are usually doing matching dies anymore. Not always, but most of the time. This one is called All the Hearts. You've got lots of different options. This is kind of like the turnabout stamps where um, you can do your different layers. And then as you do your different layers, your end result will have a solid heart made of little different um, colored hearts. There is a matching die, and your die has two different dies. You've got your heart around the outside edge, and then you've got all your little hearts too. This would be nice if you want to do a shaker and put hearts inside. Um, this would be a nice die because it cuts out many at a time, and then it also cuts out different sizes. So I will let you look at this while I read you the sentiments from this set. So you've got, um, with lots of congratulations, happy, heart, you are full love on your special day, anniversary, this much, all the love, just because from my sending something from the bottom of my, I love you, love, and, and I think I said happy and heart already, but just in case. So nice set, not just for Valentine's Day, especially when there's anniversary and stuff written right on that set. And... The next one is called Angelic Motifs, and it is gorgeous as well. Here is your backside. Surprisingly, there are no sentiments on this set at all, which is very odd for Altenew to do. And then here is your matching die. I know it's kind of chilly out still. If there's anything that you're wanting pulled for you, give us a call um, if you're not able to get into the store. 319-377-9999. This one is called Dainty Bouquet. This one is super pretty too. And then you've got the coordinating die with it. Sorry, let me get my big fingers out of the way. So you've got three different dies in that set. And then here's what the back side looks like with your layers. So really pretty florals again. And surprisingly, no sentiments on there. I wonder if that's something new that they are trying, because usually they have both on a set. So this one's kind of unique. This one is called Stained Glass Window, and it's pretty fun. You've got your two round stained glass windows, and then, uh, actually you've only got one stained glass window because those are layers, and then these are your other layers that go inside your window. So this is what your end result will look like in whatever colors you choose to make it. And then there is a matching die. So I'll let you look at the die while I read you the sentiments. The sentiments are, hello, you are my light. Have a happy day. Thanks for the encouragement. Wishing you the best and birthday wishes. 
So kind of unique and different. Um, would look really cool stamped on vellum to try and make it actually look like stained glass. And my piles are getting too big. They're wanting to fall over. All right, this is one of my favorites um, from this release. This one is called Wonderland. And the flower is just super, super pretty. This is not a layering stamp, but you've got different size of flowers on there. I'm not exactly sure what kind of flower that is. Here's what the back looks like. And then there are lots of dyes in this set because you've got different um, size flowers. So tons and tons in that set. And your sentiments here are just a note um, to say, you are so important to me. Why fit in when you are born to stand out? And that was from Dr. Seuss. You light up my day. Think and wonder, wonder and think. That was also from Dr. Seuss. Um, hello, starshine. And I appreciate your support, and I love you just the way you are. Sometimes we all need to be told that. We love you just the way that you are. So that's a super nice set. Um, we have a few different dies here that are just meant to be dies by themselves. They do not coordinate with um, stamp sets. You just layer the dies. So this is called the Wild Rose 3D die. And here's what it ends up looking like. And then you've also got, once you layer your dies, um, this is what your greenery looks like. So if you're not very good at stamping or sometimes you just don't want to dig out all your stamps, um, this is a really nice way to make a card without having to dig out all your stamping supplies. This is a similar thing. This is the Hibiscus Garden 3D die. So you layer those together and you layer your greenery together and then you've got a great um, set of flowers without any stamping. This one is a really large set, so there's a ton in here. <coughs> we have one more of those. This one is called Garden Picks 3D Die. And it looks like you've got four different options down here for... Actually, it looks like there's more than that. Yeah, it looks like tons of different options for your greenery and then also your flowers. Look at all those dies. Fabulous! And my last Ulta New die that I'm going to show you, this is a Stampin' Die Combo. This can only be purchased with the die. It is the Build a Flower Japanese Mum. It is beautiful. So this is your stamp set. You've got five different um, flowers there to stamp. I lied, there's only four. I was looking at the back picture and it showed five, but I guess that one's your end result. So four different stamps. And then um, you've got your die. So I'll let you look at the back and then I will read you your sentiments. These are really nice sentiments and they're larger sentiments. Um, so we have just saying hello, thanks for everything, and you make me a better person. So that's what I've got for you today from Altenu, Cat Scrappiness, um, Sunny Studios, and we can't wait to see you at Scrap Mania. Like I said, if you can't get in the store and would like something held for you, give us a call, 319-377-9999. We greatly appreciate your support and uh, for supporting a local shop. Have a great day.